Um, I'm a part of the New Visions Law Public Administration and Government Program, and I'm a senior at Stockbridge Valley Central School. I am very involved in my community and school, and I'm the vice president of my class and the um, president of both the National Honor Society and the Science Club. I'll be talking about some of the tours that we went on today, the 2021 County Government, um, Reading Resolution, uh, Classroom Projects, my position paper, um, an overview of my internship and my future plans. Uh, at the beginning of the year, we went on tours to multiple places to um, get comfortable with the county campus and um, see all the options of where we would like, see all the options of where we could intern at. Um, the first uh, tour that we went on was to the solid waste department. We got to see how they sorted through all the items and decided what was trash and what was recyclables. We also had the opportunity to go to the 911 center. Um, that was really cool. I never, I've never experienced anything like that before, and we got to see all the monitors that they had and all the equipment, and we got to see what was on each one. We also went um, to the Safe Harbor program, and we got to see um, what that program was all about. Um, they offer supportive services for anyone who has been trafficked, and I believe that that's very important, and, has, and there has to be more awareness of that issue. And I was really glad that we got to go on all these tours, and um, they were all very wonderful. Um, at the beginning of the year, we learned about the county government, and an important aspect of the government is the Board of Supervisors. They oversee county departments and programs, and they um, annually approve budgets. They supervise official conduct of county officers and employees. They control all county property and they appropriate and spend money on anything that the county needs. Um, this is a picture of the hierarchy of the county. At the top is the chairman and the county administrator. And then below that is the um, districts, like the towns and cities that all the Board of Supervisors represents. And then the committees and the different department heads. And this is a list of the 2021 um, supervisors and what city or town they represent, and the number of votes that they um, have, uh, which is based off population. Um, this is a list of all the different committees and all the di different responsibilities. And this is a list of all the committees and what supervisor is on each one. The supervisor that is underlined is actually the chairman of each committee. And an important lesson that we learned um, was how to write a resolution. Resolutions are very important in the county government. I, we each got to choose um, a topic that we wanted to write a resolution about, and I wrote mine on solar-powered streetlights. Um, throughout my research, I found that these would be very beneficial because they would save the environment. There would be no electricity bills, no power outages. Um, they can be attached to the walls. They generate electricity better in colder climates, and they can be installed at any angle so that snow can slide off them easily so there wouldn't be any um, problem in, problems in the winter time. Um, and because of my research and with the help of um, Ms. Lewis, I got to write a decent resolution that I was proud of, and I got to present it at a mock um, committee meeting and board meeting. And in um, actual, um, Board of Supervisors meetings. Um, resolutions are very important, and for a resolution to be passed, a committee has to propose a, res a resolution, and then the chairperson of that committee has to actually move that resolution, and another supervisor has to second it, and a majority have to um, approve it for it to be passed. I believe this was a very important lesson for us to learn. It gave me a better understanding of the Madison County government, and um, I got an insight on how they really address issues and solve them. On November 18th, 2021, my class and I got to go to, uh, we had the opportunity to go to a um, Board of Supervisors meeting. Um, some issues discussed was the um, financial situation of the Boxing Hall of Fame, the need for repair services to the 911 <coughs> tower and water towers and the Clockville water infrastructure. Some solutions to these issues were presented through resolutions. Um, they are going to give $50,000 to support the Boxing Hall of Fame. They are going to provide 
repair of services to the uh, 911 tower and water towers until November 17, 2023, and supplies and services will be installed to improve the Clockville water infrastructure. We also had the opportunity to interview Chairman Becker. Those are a list of the questions that I had the chance to ask him. He was very patient and calm with us, and um, I really appreciate that, and it was a great experience to really hear his thoughts and point of view. Um, and throughout the year, we've done many classroom projects, but my favorite one was the um, debate that we did. Um, I got to debate Dan, um, my fellow classmate, um, on minimum wage and why I thought it should be raised to $15 an hour. Um, on the left hand side is the format that we had to follow. Uh, we each had three minutes to present our opening statements and any arguments that we had, and then two minutes to present our counter arguments and rebuttal. Um, and then there was five minutes for public comment and questions, and then two minutes for our closing statements. We were graded on our organization, organ, organization and clarity, our use of arguments, um, our use of cross-examination and rebuttal, and our presentation style. This is um, my opening statement, my arguments, my rebuttal, my closing statements. I'm sorry if you can't read it. It was, um, I don't have that good of handwriting, and I was rushing. Um, <laughs> Um, and for our final, we had to write a 10 to 15 page paper about a controversial topic of our choice. I choose to write mine on um, anti-LGBTQ plus bills and laws. Um, many bills um, limit LGBTQ plus people and their rights and they take away basic human rights and I believe that no one should be discriminated against based on their sexual orientation or gender identity. Um, a significant piece of research that I found was that 15% of uh, heterosexual and cisgender people um, engage in self-harm in their lifetime, but that number actually doubles amongst lesbian, gay, and bisexual people and even triples amongst transgender people. And that is another reason why I believe these laws are um, cruel and unethical. Um, some groups that are for anti-LGBT Cupola laws are the Westboro Baptist Church and the American Family Association. And some groups that are against anti-LGBT Cupola laws are the Trevor Project and Lambda Legal. Um, personally, I'm very strongly against um, anti-LGBT Cupola laws. I believe that they're harmful and not beneficial at all, and I would do anything in my power to um, prevent them from being passed, and I would continue to voice that. Um, this internship, this program gave me the opportunity to intern at the Department of Social Services with Suzanne Coffin and um, the Youth Bureau with Tina Lewis. Some of my responsibilities of, at my internship were to um, complete projects, uh, keep an open mind, uh, work diligently on projects and get them done on time. Um, some activities that I had the opportunity to do I put paperwork together with Suzanne to send to um, families with adopted children to make sure that they um, were going to school and had everything that they need. I went shopping at Walmart to get supplies for a runaway and homeless youth and the Indo independent living program. The independent living program is for um, youth in foster care um, from the ages 14 to 21. I gave important feedback to better the youth program and the Youth Bureau website. I started a new vision scavenger hunt for next year's class to get them comfortable with the um, uh, county campus and their surroundings. I also went to the Child Advocacy Center for a tour. Um, the Child Advocacy Center focuses mainly focuses on um, sex abuse in children, so that was very interesting and sad to see. Um, and throughout my internship, I worked one on one with. Um, many caseworkers and case assistants and um, youth bureau employees in the camp at the county campus. Um, I had the opportunity to observe two supervised parent visits. I observed a home visit down in Brookfield. I went to an elderly home and I observed seven parenting classes. Um, the parenting classes were ran by Caitlin Hopkins and Caitlin Helmer. Um, they are a case assistant and um, caseworker at the county. The picture above is actually Caitlin Hopkins and I. 
Um, and I also had the opportunity to complete a fetal alcohol syndrome training. I completed a Department of Social Services and Youth Bureau trifle poster for the career night at Kansas High School. I created New Visions peer interview questions to um, get better feedback for the program and um, the point of view of the other students and figured out whether they liked the program or if they um, you know, had any, um, sorry, I can't think of the word, any feedback or um, anything that they would like to improve. Um, I also went to a LGBTQ plus movie night um, down in Hamilton. This was uh, put together by James Norris. He is a employee at the Youth Bureau. And I also was interviewed by CNY Central um, to, for, like about the program and um, they wanted my thoughts on why I thought cases were rising um, during COVID. An important skill that I learned throughout my internship was empathy. Empathy is the ability to identify and understand another person's experience and point of view. Um, empathy allows caseworkers and case assistants to better understand and build stronger relationships with their clients. It allows them to determine a client's needs based off their unique experiences better. And I now have a better understanding of empathy and how to be more empathetic towards others. Um, I would like to take a moment to recognize my mentors. Um, on the left hand side is a picture of Tina Lewis and I. And on the right hand side is a picture of Suzanne Coffin and I, and then all three of us in the middle. I'd also like to take a moment to um, thank Tim Brown. I wasn't with him long, but it was still very enjoyable and he taught me very much. Um, and I would also like to take a moment to um, present a certificate to Tina Lewis. I'm the president of the National Honor Society. I've been in high honor roll throughout my whole high school career, and um, I'm actually the um, salutatorian of my class at Sacramento Valley Central School. I've also received um, numerous awards from colleges, uh, such as the George H. Ball Cuba College Community Achievement Award, the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Award, and the Cuba College Alumni Association Award of Excellence. I plan on going to Cuba College in the fall. I'll be majoring in ASL English Interpreting and Social Work. I plan on getting my bachelor's degree and I might be getting my master's degree depending on what I decide to do in the future. Um, and for my quote, I chose For Most of History Anonymous Was a Woman by Virginia Woolf. Um, I really love this quote because it emphasizes how women have had to fight for the rights and um, their place in the world and um, sometimes they were not credited for all the stuff that they did in the past. Unfortunately, women still have to fight for the rest of the world today. Um, and thank you for coming to my presentation. Are there any questions or comments? Good job.